I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on mathematical proofs by induction. Here are two test questions. We'll now work on question number seven, which is to prove that 10 to the power of 2n minus 1 plus 1 is divisible by 11 for all n belonging to natural numbers. So in the method of induction, as you learn, we have to first show that for n equals to 1, this is true, right? So we'll define our function f of n as equal to 10 to the power of 2n minus 1 plus 1. And we'll test what is f of 1 equals to. f of 1 is 10 to the power of 2 minus 1, which is, which is 10, right? So let me write 1 here, plus 1. And that is indeed 11. So we know that f of 1 is divisible by 11. Now, what we need to do is we need to assume that f of k is also divisible by 11. So f of k is equals to 11 times lambda. So we can write 11 times lambda as equal to, we'll replace n with k, so we get 10 to the power of 2k minus 1 plus 1. Well, I have two different strategies to work with. Sometimes what you could do here is that you could rearrange and write 10 to the power of 2k minus 1 as equal to 11 lambda minus 1. Okay. So, so you could use either one of these equations. So at times you could use equation number 1 or you could also use this equation to prove that f of k plus 1 is a is also divisible by 11, right? So now the idea is to find what is f of k plus 1. So f of k plus 1 will be 10 to the power of 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 plus 1, correct? So let's take it to the right side and simplify. So f of k plus 1 is indeed equals to 10 to the power of 2k plus 2 so we can write this as 2k minus 1 plus 2, right? I'm just rearranging. So which you could write here as 10 to the power of 2k minus 1 times 10 to the power of 2 plus 1, right? Now, we rearranged and wrote 10 to the power of 2k minus 1 as 11 lambda minus 1. So I could write this as 11 lambda minus 1 times 10 square, which is 100, plus 1. So, so that is 100, right? So we can now open this bracket. So once you open this bracket, what do you get? You get 11 lambda times 10 square minus 10 square plus 1. Now 10 square is 100, so 101 is 99. So what we get here is 11 lambda times, uh, let's write this as 100, minus, that is 99, right? 100 plus, minus 100 plus 1. And from here, 11 is a common factor. So taking 11 as a common factor, we get 100 lambda minus 9. So clearly, f of k plus 1 is a multiple of 11. So from here, we can write down that f of k plus 1 is divisible by 11. And therefore, 10 to the power of 2n minus 1 plus 1 is also divisible by 11. This is using the first principle of induction, right? So this is application of or first principle of 
of induction. Now, let's move on and take the last question, which is question number 8 for us. You need to now prove that 2 to the power of 6n plus 3 to the power of 2n minus 2 is divisible by 5 for all values of n. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. So we'll define our function f of n as equal to 2 to the power of 6n plus 3 to the power of 2n minus 2. So for f of 1, what do we get? So we get 2 to the power of 6 plus 3 to the power of 0, right? So which is 2 to the power of 6 is 64 plus 1, which is 65. So clearly, it is divisible by 5. So we have f of 1 is divisible by 5, right? So that part is true. So now we are going to do an assumption. And our assumption is that f of k is 5 lambda, is also divisible by 2, right? So that is our assumption. f of k is a multiple of 5. And what we need to prove is, so basically we are saying that 5 lambda is equal to if I write k here, we get 2 to the power of 6k plus 3 to the power of 2k minus 2, right? So that is our equation number 1. Uh, so we have different kinds of proofs. You could also rearrange this equation right in different fashion, right? So we'll leave it here. And the idea here is now to find whether f of k plus 1 is a multiple of 5 or not. So k plus 1 will be 2 to the power of 6 k plus 1 plus 3 to the power of 2 k plus 1 minus 2. Right? So let's take it to the right side and then solve this. So we get f of k plus 1 as equals to, since we have this form, we'll write this as 2 to the power of 6k times 2 to the power of 6, right? And the second term will be 3 to the power of, we should write this as 2k minus 2, right? So we get 2k minus 2 times 3 to the power of 2, right? Which is 9. So that is how we can write this. And this 2 to the power of 6 is 64. So we get 64 times 2 to the power of 6k plus, and that is 9, right? 9 into 3 to the power of 2k minus 2. Now, 64 can be written as 55 plus 9 times 2 to the power of 6k plus 9 times 3 to the power of 2k minus 2. And now from here, we can write one term as 55, which is a multiple of 5, times 2 to the power of 6k, plus 9 times 2 to the power of 6k, plus 9 times 3 to the power of 2k minus 2. So what we get here is 55 times 2 to the power of 6k, plus 9 common. So we get 2 to the power of 6k, plus 3 to the power of 2k minus 2. Now this term here is 5 lambda. So we can write this as 55 times 2 to the power of 6k plus 9 times 5 lambda. So 5 is a common factor and what we get here is 11 times 2 to the power of 6k plus 9 lambda. Is that clear? So clearly we have shown that f of k plus 1 is divisible by 5, right? So therefore f of k plus 1 is divisible by 5. Perfect. And that implies that the given function 2 to the power of 6n plus 3 to the power of 2n minus 2 is divisible by 5. 
So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.